I have a really weird obsession with old people on social media. Whenever I see an old person like on their phone, I just like wonder what are they looking at? Today we're going to be looking at a subreddit, which is basically about old people on the internet. The subreddit is r slash old people Facebook. And I'm assuming we're going to have a look at some old people having a bit of a bad time online. Okay, so someone sent their grandmother, you know, a wee emoji. Is that a chicken? I mean, it's a weird emoji to me. And they replied with, he's cute. Did you draw him? If they're able to draw like that, they must be very talented. But I mean, to me, this doesn't look like a drawing. Maybe their grandma's an artist and she can draw like that. Someone called Raymond put in a post onto like a dog rescue Facebook page I think. Friendly young male grey pit running around the snowbird area. But for some reason someone called Dennis had something to say. Please no more emails my iPhone and then he put his number and then Raymond just replies with question mark. I mean you don't know Dennis could be the owner of the dog. What was going for Dennis's head? Like what was he putting his number there for? That is what fascinates me. It's like what is going through their head? Why did he put his number down? You've been free enough, it's time to start enjoying life. On a sad note, Sue passed away July 11th. Granddaughter Nicole lives with me now. We should coffee or golf, an old friend. I mean, I don't know where that was put, but RIP Sue. Look at wee Chucky saying you've been put free enough, but you know, Sue died. I mean, I hope Chuck and Stephen are okay. The Maz checks out. This German Shepherd at the dog park. Is this meant to be like some way to like, you know, like figure out where it is? I mean, we don't know. Maybe they're going to use like a Maz equation to figure out where the dog is. If the dog was here, they this time and it moves at this speed it's going to be in this area maybe they're a mathematician and they know how to figure out where the dog is smoked wings you have a recipe or want to know how to make them question mark nope meant to post some questions and accidentally posted just this and can't figure out how to delete it lol okay i love how they put a lol at the end that's so sweet isn't it i'm telling you guys we need to protect the old people because think of it they literally fought for us to have our rights all of our grandparents were probably in some sort of war we all need to go and give them a cuddle immediately i think we've got some sort of dog advert. If your paw picks, licks, or bites, they might need pro- Biotics. I don't know what probiotics is. It sounds like antibiotics would probably something help the dog. And somebody replied with my did. He had a yeast infection. It is Paul not in his paw on the outside on antibiotics. I don't know if I'm dehydrated. I've got some water here. I'm going to have a wee sip, but I don't know what he means. Elderly. Is she talking about herself? Like, why is she posting elderly? And then someone just replied with like a love heart emoji. I look, he loves that. Like, why is she just randomly posting that? And I just realised something. It's got free heart lovey reactions. I bet you everyone on Facebook was looking at that status and they were like, "Ah, we Teresa's back posting her wee statuses. I mean, do you want to know something? We're all going to be elderly one day. Cracker Barrel. My friend and I had a wonder home cooked meal at Cracker Barrel. However, an acquaintance who was not invited for obvious reasons told me the food was not homemade and it's heated up. He has no appreciation for fine dining. Yet again, I don't know if I'm dumb. Is he saying the food was good or the food was bad but like someone told him that it was like reheated? I mean, either way, he was at Cracker Barrel barrel and he had like a wonderful home cooked meal. I heard in the news that there was a 6.1 earthquake in Northern Baja and Sornana. Sornana? Sonora. I don't know where that is so apologies for the pronunciation. Hope everyone is okay and no casualties have occurred. Be safe everyone who's out there. I mean obviously that's like a lovely status to put up but this looks like a birthday cake. Hope you're not celebrating the people who maybe lost their lives. I used to be obsessed with earthquakes whenever I was younger like I had a really weird obsession with them and I'm with her. I hope anyone who was caught up and that earthquake is okay. Okay, now we've actually got an Amazon review and this is a bit weird. It says, Amazon customer verified purchase. Had this for about a week now. Seems to work very good and easy to use. But if dot dot dot. And then they've just like attached a video. Let's see what the video is. Okay, the video's playing. And it's just... Balloons! Are they celebrating that they like bought the product and it was really good? Did they buy it for the birthday? Maybe they're like the other woman who was sending all the well wishes to the people caught up in the earthquake. Apparently it's a lot of people's birthdays. Just what is CBD Gomez good for? Gomez? That's like a Latino name, isn't it? I've got a feeling this poor wee man meant just what is CBD gummies good for? I mean, they're good for joints, for getting high, relieving pain. I've never had them, but I think that's what they're used for. This was posted by my grandmother on my cousin's anniversary post she has no idea she added that picture happy anniversary to both of you hope you have many more years together love you both very much and then look at the emoji she added on is she like worried that like they're gonna break up or like the relationship isn't good and also why is like the bitmoji bald is the grandmother bald i mean i've definitely sent a few weird photos to people that i didn't mean to send but i've never put a bitmoji like that before hi neighbors i'm blank i will miss my son who was recently murdered welcome blank with a virtual gift three people sent a confession 
confetti, seven people sent flowers, and someone sent a jack o lantern. I mean, I think it's really bad that like her son literally got murdered. Why are people sending confetti? Is that like a congratulations? Like, well, hey, your son's dead. I think it's quite sweet that some people did send flowers. But why did someone also send like a jack lantern? Like, look at her, she's smiling in her profile pic. I wonder if she's the one who murdered the son. Someone's precious dog was hit in front of blank, fire deft and blank. Looks like an English bulldog. Okay, so we've got a bulldog that might be dead. Notice how they put like loads of smiley faces in the background. Such a boomer moment. So someone replied with this. Why did you use that background? I have no idea. I just posted as a concerned person. Wasn't even paying attention to the background. To be fair, that's me. I've accidentally sent like really bad messages. And you know how like in your iPhone, how you like hold it down, you can like send a reaction. I might have sent like fireworks or like a confetti before. Not the best reaction to add to. I hope you get better send message. Okay, so this was found in a local buy and sell. Don't get me wrong. You have to join first. Then you can sell your stuff. They have to be approved first. No need to yell or for all your capitals. It's a simple question. Not yelling at you, just like the right capital Ketters. Ketters? I think you meant letters. I mean, I used to always type in capitals and people would be like, why are you yelling at me? I'm quite interested. Do you use lowercase or uppercase? Some people use lowercase for everything. That includes like nouns, the names of places, like people's names. You're meant to use like a capital letter for that. But there's like some people who don't. I've went through weird phases where I've used lowercase and then like not used it. But I'm interested. What do you do? To regain friends in your news feed and to get rid of ads, hold your finger anywhere on this post and click copy. Go to your page where it says what's in your mind. Tap your finger anywhere in the blank field. Click paste. This upgrades the system. Hello new and old friends. It's sad we have to keep doing this to kill the ads and see our friends. Still don't know how to do it so we'll wait till Xmas and you can show me. I mean I don't think that kills the advert. Usually if you want to get rid of adverts you have to pay like subscription of like one ninety nine a month for no ads or you can just like skip them. But I guess someone's going to get shown how to do the exact same thing at Christmas. This was posted to a group of 26,000 members. That's a pretty big Facebook group, isn't it? Let's make a friend's birthday grand and then they put the phone number. Just text Michael happy birthday, please. I mean, Michael's going to get up to 26,000 texts. He's going to be thinking, what's going on here? My phone's proper vibrating. If I get like more than four texts in a day, I start getting freaked out. I'm not used to getting text messages. But let's all get into the comments and wish Michael a very happy birthday. Delicious cake. Just learnt about it in Wyoming. It's a very moist cake. Strawberry bee jello cake. Very simple and easy to make. Strawberry bee jello. What is that? Are they putting like jello in a cake? What is jello used for? Is that like jelly? Or is where like jello can be like used for slime? I don't know what that was about, but apparently they learned about a delicious cake in Wyoming. Want Facebook? What is it that you want? Mistake. Do you reckon I even know that like posted that? I'm gonna go into my Facebook friends, look for all my friends and try to find like their parents or grandparents on Facebook. Cause I'm telling you right now, they probably got posts like that. Apparently he wanted something. I wonder if he got it in the end. My grandma just posted this and her friend replied. Doesn't seem like seven years. I remember it well. What? Do you reckon she was having like flashbacks? She was like, oh my God, I remember this happened seven years ago. I'm just going to post about it on Facebook. And then her friend's just like, what? I mean, fair play. I want to know what she was doing seven years ago. Okay, so it looks like we've got an advert for a free dog bed. Imagine getting a free dog bed on Facebook. That's quite good. But apparently someone did something to send the comments. Hello, a former customer here. My dog is Piper. I quit the bark box, but she loves the magic jerky bars. I'm assuming that's like some sort of like treat for them. Jerky bars, that's a bit of a weird name. And chew sticks. Is there any way I can order them for her again, please? You could throw a toy in also. Oh, look at you demanding toys. If you can't pay for it, you ain't gonna get it. The other treats didn't agree with her, but the magic jerky bars do. Thank you, you already have all my info. I mean, I don't know who that person is, but that was an advert online. And I guess if you have ordered from them before, they probably do have your information and they probably sold it. Well, anyways, guys, that's probably that they do there. Like some old people on Facebook. I'm genuinely obsessed with them. Like, I think it's like so fascinating how their brains work. If you want to see me make this like a mini series, because there's so many different Reddits like this, I'll definitely make it into one. If you're new, hit the big red subscribe button, and yes, I'll see you all in my next video.